got too involved in looking at the channel, I wanted to explain to you what Vidivo is. Vidivo is the video devotional channel of Michael James Stone and the Biblical Christian Network. The Biblical Christian Network was founded originally by the Internet's um, need for having some Christian material posted. So in looking at that, we broke up into seven different aspects of where Christianity needed to post more material and be more involved in taking back the internet from pornography and from all those things that are out there that we all know aren't so good for the soul, but possibly were used probably at first to expand the internet in ways that nobody ever imagined. And now that the internet has grown and we've begun to kind of take back some of the territory that maybe <laughs> we lost out on because we really didn't know the technology that was available to spread the gospel. Biblical Christian Network has been kind of in the forefront of passing out and distributing lots of material that Christians have shared all over the world and now are posting on the internet, whether through video, whether through postings, whether through blogging, through Facebook, through social network, through Twitter, through all the different venues of Usenet and list servers and all the areas that Christians previously hadn't spent that much time being involved in. And in so saying, likewise, because it's a biblical Christian network, we kind of went towards the whole concept of it being more biblical than just everything that's out there. Because there's some people that, well, quite frankly, on Facebook, you know, they'll, they'll post anything and they'll pass on anything. And some of it's kind of weird. And, you know, you get now where you have people that are pretending that they're news services and quite frankly, they post some pretty weird stuff. And some of them have been around for a while, so they, they've gotten a little polished on their presentation. And the Biblical Christian Network was all about presenting some accurate information of having in the news services. Part of Biblical Christian Network is to have a news network, to have a Bible teaching network, to have a video network, to have a Christian music network, to have a prophecy network to have a Jewish network, and to really network all these together so that there would be seven, well maybe eight, networks that would involve blogs and websites and social media and coordinating all that together so that Jesus would be proclaimed everywhere on the internet as well as in the hearts and souls of the minds of the people that watch. So Didivo came about as first being the video devotionals that Michael James Stone, me, was doing, and then it began to grow as it began to develop. It started off simply as uh, emotional, the emotional devotional network, and it was about sharing devotions that were eight of the devotions that I read daily, and I used to read on a regular basis, and for a consistent time, I was very excited about that. And God bless devotional network, and it was the forerunner of what later became Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 ministry. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 ministry was the whole idea that you could trust in the Lord with all your heart and you wouldn't have to lean in your own understanding. So going into that ministry, what happened was the devotional network suddenly was blessed with being able to, because of its consistency and persistency in following the rules, was given extra time to post, with being able to now go beyond the 15 minute limit and begin to post half hour videos and hour videos, always free and freely received and freely given. So once that began to happen, then we changed to Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, and then as more people got involved and the ministry began to go around the world, we settled on video, which is the video devotionals. And so I hope that this brief explanation will help you to understand what all these videos are about, that you can look and see and find something that God is going to speak to you in. Because quite frankly, I wouldn't bother spending any time on this site unless you could watch one and discover if Jesus and God is real or if maybe it's all made up. I don't want to ever see on this channel, the Devo, the Devo, anything that would ever be misleading, that would ever be causing you to separate yourself from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, to ever segregate yourself into some little pocket of ministry that you think you've got it all and you're smarter than everyone else. I don't ever want Vidivo to become a hate-mongering site that would somehow 
you know, say we're the ones and you're not, and you're going to hell and we're going to heaven, and guess what, you know, tough. No. As a matter of fact, video devotional is really about Jesus and you and me. Video is all about God sitting down with the two of us, you and I, and having a conversation, having a discussion, as it were, about the things that matter to him, the things that are pertinent to me, and the things that are relevant to you. And if you don't get anything out of it, personally, I wouldn't watch them. As a matter of fact, if they aren't fun to watch and you don't enjoy them, I wouldn't even bother spending your time here. <laughs> but if you get something out of it, praise the Lord, somehow I think God is going to reveal that not only can you see God, not only can you hear God, not only will you know God, but that you'll walk with God in a more intimate and personal way than you ever have done before. And that's my prayer for you on video. Because really, we don't have time to waste, do we? There ain't much time in the world, and we're all trying to get as much as we can, as quickly as we can, as fast as we can, any way we can. So, rather than do the can-can, rather than do that, and sing and dance and come up with all kinds of professional video presentations or stupid ideas, you know, and try to look like we're a new service or look like something we're not, Vidivo is always going to tell you the truth. If you make a mistake, you know, we'll make a mistake. That's a part of what grace is all about and forgiveness. But we don't want to be something we're not. We don't want to look like something we're not. We don't want to have all that kind of like professionalism that always goes out there and then everybody thinks, ooh, ah, and they get tantalized by emotional appeal, sometimes get confused by professional looking and sounding sites, when in reality, most of them are just put out by somebody that's just kind of packaging it in a new way. And you know what a used car salesman is like? They can take that old car, make it look brand new, but by the time you drive it home, you know what you got. <laughs> so, I hope you find that after you've seen this video and maybe check out a few that are on this channel, that you pay attention a little more closely to what God has to say to you, that you'll discover a little more intimately how He can use you maybe to do the same things that we're doing here on these videos that you could do too. Because if we could bless you in some way to tell you to go do it too, then maybe that's all you needed to see this video for. That you could do it. How about you go out and make a video? Or you share Jesus in your way, in your day, in your community. You see, we're not selfish about what we're doing, and we're not going to ever ask for money or take anything from you. Matter of fact, we're just going to share what we're doing, and if you like it, praise the Lord. If you don't, hey, you know, you got a button, click it. Don't like it. <laughs> it's that simple. So, hey, I got work to do, so I'll see you later, and hopefully you'll get a chance to check out some of the videos. Until then, Lord bless and keep you, you know. God help you in whatever you're doing because we all need a little help now and then. Sometimes, you know, it's nice to know that someone else out there cares. See you later.